Hello guys, I'm Dagan. I'm here today to show you a completely wireless redstone in Minecraft. But this concept is 100% wireless. It doesn't use like one command block to set a block uh, and activate something as you can see here. It's completely wireless as you can see. So we can, oops, now start here. Oh no, here. Yeah, please. Okay, so as you can see, I press this, you activate a wooden button, here's there, no redstone at all, you activated a stone button, you activated a lever, and I can activate it as many times as I want, um, well, you activated a stone pressure plate, a wooden pressure plate, and you can also do this with blocks, for example, use the redstone torch. You activate a redstone torch again and again and this creates a very beautiful rainbow so here's all the command blocks that I used to it it's a very simple contraption oops let me just turn this off what it does it uses the command test for block and block data this is a pretty cool that you you see now so first I'll give you a fast introduction to what block data is just for example, set block here, piston. So if I do this, it will normally create a piston with the block data of zero. As you can see, it is the same here, because there is zero. But if I apply the block data of one, it'll face up. Then two, it'll face other side, three, other side, and etc, etc. And this can be used to redstone too, so a unpressed uh, wooden button has one block data, but when I press it, it has another, and activate the system. So now that you know what block data is, you can just use the test for block, coordinates that the block is, wooden button, and then the block data of it pressed. Stone button, 12, lever, then... Stone pressure plate is the most easy one because it has 0 and 1. 1 is activated. And for the torch, we have redstone torch. And this here isn't a redstone torch. This is a unlit redstone torch. So now I'll show you how to get the block data. It's very easy. I'll just do a new one here so you can see. So for example, I want this up. So what I'll do is I point at it with this cross at the screen. And I type slash test, oops, test for block, then space tab, space tab, space tab, and this will also fill the coordinates. This is very useful. Thanks for my friend CrazyTaco62 for teaching me that. So, let's get back. So, the block is wooden button, then you just put like one. So, then read this the block at these coordinates has a data value of 5 expected ones, so it unpressed is 5 if you want to do anything with it. So then we just press it and then do it. Perfect. So when it is pressed, it's 13. So we can just do like 13. It's not working, but if I press, oops, sorry, activate this, and it successfully found a block. So now that we have the coordinates, we just take a command block and copy this last command, put it right next to a fill clock or any clock that you want, take a comparator, put it like this, and then just put a basic say, for example, say hi. So then every time I press this thing, it says hi. So yeah guys, this was a pretty basic and fast tutorial for those who are starting with command blocks and map making. This is a pretty useful thing that I use a lot of my maps. So leave a like if you like this for more tutorials and subscribe to see my latest videos. Bye!